And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Fable 3 today, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the support button, let's get into doing some gameplay. All right, I've got it. I take a small group of soldiers down this route and blow up the West Barracks. It will draw their attention and open up the main route. How's that better than my idea? We will live longer than a few seconds. Oh, well, now you're just picking holes. Give it up, boy. What I want to know is what my men need to do. That's for the future queen to decide. Paige knows the city best. We'll follow her plan. Fine. I only put mine forward to annoy her anyway. I see you've really matured on your travels. If you'll look at the map, we can go through the details. My ships will take you to the beach here. We can expect heavy mortar fire, but most of Logan's soldiers will be busy dealing with Paige and her men. I want to be in the thick of the smoke and the fire and the glory. If Paige takes the west route, it's only fair I take the east. Which leaves the center to us. <laughs> Less chance of getting lost. Then we're agreed. Are you sure you're up to this, Walter? Oh, don't worry about me. I may feel old and tired. The day hasn't come yet, but I can't charge into a good old-fashioned fight. Let the battle for Albion begin! Our people are getting torn to shreds out there. They need our help! Oh, 
head on a plate. The Auroran ship should be able to move in closer now. you've ever had! <laughs> Sabine, you almost blew us up! You saw a glorious beacon of freedom burning in the night for all the... <laughs> what is it, Boulder? Oh, bloody hell. Move! Move! It'll take more than a grenade to finish off that old sod. Meanwhile, let's do what he says and get moving, shall we?
where are you? Great shot! Target's been wounded! Oh, about bloody time! My men are taking care of the East Barracks, but I couldn't leave you out here alone. This gate. Always with the damn gates. What we need are explosives. But I used mine up on the way here. If only we knew some sort of tiny, crazy old man who enjoyed blowing things. Ha <laughs> ah, ha! Ah! Did you see that border that the whole city bowed to our thunder? Hang on. How did you get to the other side in the first place? Dwellers have their ways, my boy. Is there anyone left to kill? There will be soon. More troops are on the way. Kalian's fleet got a fair few, but not all. We'll hold them off. Come on, Balder, there's more fighting to be done. Good luck in there. Hope the crown fits. Let's finish this for good, while I can still stand up on my own. Shall we knock? No. Let's surprise him. So, this is how it ends. The old fool and the child who ran away. You've finally become the woman I always wanted you to she's be. She's a lot more than that, and now she's ready to take your place. Perhaps the time has come for someone else to lead Albion. You were never a leader, just another tyrant. Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Power behind ignorance if you will. My sister deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then. she is, the Queen of Albion. You've made it, just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier, though. You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the sanctuary, you'll need a new personal aid. 
Someone who could keep you organized. Let me introduce you to... Hobson. Hobson's the name, Your Majesty. May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> that, Your Majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together such a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial, of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. And I heartily believe the key to being a successful queen is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments. I'm sure you will do a marvelous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, Your Majesty. Stand to attention for the Queen of Albion. Logan, former King of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who've died for it. I say is, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death, children forced to work, but killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate, but his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise, and I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our father's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. If this is true. If it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. You have the power over life and death, sister. Now choose. The people of This is not the time for revenge. We need your help, Logan. The Queen has made her decision. Logan's life will be spared. I know you will never forgive me for the things I've done. You told me so once, remember? Of course I do. But what matters now is that we defend our land. The castle is yours, and so is the throne. I'm glad to be rid of them.
You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a monarch. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are queen, you can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but the truth. With Logan on the throne, Albin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of survival. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. All you can do is prepare, and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler, but understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full, unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth. But you may also choose to break those promises, to harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need, but you will be hated. This path will cast you in the role of a tyrant, as it did your brother. You have one year to do what Logan could not. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced, and be the hero that can stand against it. Your Majesty, I'm not sure what to say after receiving such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could, without living through it first. We need to prepare. If we can't stop the attack from happening, we have to be ready when it comes. Having Logan's troops on our side is a good start. But you will need to raise a fortune. To pay for the army we'll need. Hobson will show you the treasury. And I'm sure he can explain just how to fill it. Indeed I can. Then I will leave you to it. Ben and I will begin recruiting and training soldiers at once. If you will follow me, your majesty. Oh, how I have looked forward to this moment. It's 
Well, not as um, replete as one would like, but just imagine this room shimmering with hills, valleys, and plateaus of gold. A topography of riches going all the way up to the ceiling. It will require nothing less to build this army everyone is talking about. Which brings us to the second item on today's agenda, and one I'm personally very excited about. Setting the tax rate for the coming year. As you probably know, your brother was taxing the people rather heavily, and some say that this has led to poverty, starvation, and other societal ills. You have three clear choices, Your Majesty. One, lower the tax rate, which one could argue would help the poor and the hungry, but would also leave the treasury in a miserable state. Two, maintain Logan's policies. Not a popular move with the people, but moderately popular with the treasury. And three, and don't let my enthusiasm influence you in any way, Raise the taxes even further. True, many will suffer in the short term, but we will be able to protect the kingdom and run our fingertips over vast amounts of gold <laughs> in this very room. Very well, Your Majesty. A prudent choice. Why upset the status quo? The time for revolution has passed and people are used to the current rate of poverty and starvation. Those who survive will thank you in the end. But you will still need to raise a lot more gold by other means. Unless you're willing to donate some of your own money to the treasury. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I do like a little joke now and then. However you decide to proceed, you should acquaint yourself with the royal ledger. It is a logbook that allows the reigning monarch to make deposits and withdrawals from the treasury. A most useful financial tool. But my, look at the time. You really ought to attend to the next item on today's agenda. Reva has a most intriguing proposal for you in Bowerstone Industrial. Now, I know you have had your differences, but it is time to put those behind you and work together. Nobody can raise money like Reaver can, I assure you. I have seen to it that your appearance among the populace is well publicized, so expect a crowd. Don't tempt. Oh, happy day! Her Majesty, the Queen of Albion, graces us with her radiant presence. I knew last time we met that you would emerge victorious from such public sibling rivalry. And now, here I am to assist you in filling your coffers till they are fit to burst. What better way to begin your reign than by reinstating one of my most successful policies? There is no greater waste than the idleness of our city's youth, but my employment scheme guarantees children of all ages will have something to occupy them, whilst ensuring our factories are properly manned. That's... it's just monstrous. Don't listen to him. You promised you would end child labor. Remember that promise now. And what would you have us do with the snotty little indigents? The only way Bowerstone is going to climb out of the gutter is through education. Nothing is more important to our future than that. Turn this factory into a school. Give the children of this city the chance they never had. A school? Well, that's an original thought. 
Well, if you'd like to be known as a pauper monarch, then by all means, listen to her. Re the factory will become a school. Thank you. We can really start changing people's lives now. This will be an Albion worth fighting for. I shall begin the necessary modifications at once. Welcome to Reaver Industries Learning Center, Bowerstone Industrial's first ever school. You can now feel secure in the knowledge that your children can become the well-educated automatons you always wanted them to be. shop is owned by an adventurer, you know. That means it's extra special. I have the best shop in Bowerstone. Anyway, when you see us next time, we'll be continuing to do this quest. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure.